So, how would you explain your creative process when you go in the studio? Are you a writer? You punch in. You just go in there and freestyle everything. Let them know how you go in the studio and let them know some of the creative juices and which gets your creative juices flowing in the studio. Most of the time, for the past four or five years, I've just been going in. No writing. Just off the dome. We'll punch in. Probably some time all the way through, depending on how I feel. Um, but most of the time, punch in, in and out and shit. That's how I fuck with, that's how I come. And it's all on the vibe. You know, depending on how I'm feeling right there and there, just straight vibe. All vibe. Absolutely. So, you said you like to punch in. So, you know, like me, I feel like it's very hard to punch in. So, who would your advice be to me and people who can't freestyle as well as you? How could we work on our freestyling and get to the point where we can punch in like you? Keep fucking with it. Just keep practicing and keep doing that shit. Just keep doing that shit. Keep doing that shit. Just get re just repetitive with it and it's going to come like anything else. Repetitive. Yeah. So punch in. Just start, start punching in every other word. So, if we ain't in the hood, then what do you call that? We outside, really outside, y'all, man. Got the kids. <laughs> Shout out to the kids, man. His son, son is here with us. We're gonna introduce everybody in a minute. So, another question, when it comes to the studio, what type of environment do you like to be in? Like, I hear rappers sometimes kick all their homies out the studio. They might even kick the engineer out until they done. Like, what type of environment do you need? Do you need your weed? You know, do you need your bottles? You need some bag? Definitely tree. I need, it's, more, it's more personal to me because now it's more, this shit is my therapy. Absolutely. So, I don't really need too many motherfuckers in the lab with me while I'm, while I'm doing my shit. You know what I mean? Unless it's one of them type of studio situations and, like, we just fall into that type of shit but when i'm going straight into me and i'm zoning out doing me it's just me absolutely I'm zoning out when i need some tree i for sure need some tree i might have a little juice that's syrup to those that don't know i might have some syrup or something you know, i might chip or something chip up or something pop me a little uh, you know and i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna zone out absolutely definitely i need shrooms too what's your key advice to somebody who don't got it as big as budget as you, but they do want the quality of music as you do. Have. What would you tell them to do? Should they start their own studio? Should they try to, you know? Watch your own shit. Go get, go invest in your own lab. Buy your own lab so you ain't got to keep spending that whatever they want these studio times, crazy hours and whatever. Go, go finally, it's going to all add up anyway. So go, go down to the guitar center, get your, your lab together, get whatever you need, get your uh, 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 MacBook, get your, you know, get your, get your devices, get your tools up, whatever they tell you that you need. The newest, the newest, latest, and greatest, get that shit. Get you a nice quality mic. Get you a, a, a popper stopper for that motherfucker, little vocal booth thing, booth. Get you a mic stand, get all that shit together. I just throw it out there because I know one of the hardest things when you is building your own studio is getting that certain mic to get that quality sound. Right. What kind of mics would you recommend or what is your highest recommended mic? I mean, for a newcomer or something, if you're trying to just, you know, do a, um, you can go like AK, you can go AKG, you can get you a nice little AKG for for a nice, decent little price. You go to like a, uh, you know what I mean? It's from the Guitar, guitar Center. Guitar Center. Yeah, Radio get you AKG. Or a blueberry. Matter of fact, get you a blueberry. Might be a little cheaper. Yeah, blue mic. Get you a blue mic. It's like a little, it's a little dot, a little circle like that. Blue. About like 150, 200 between, between 150. Yeah. Okay, okay, man. Now, one of the things I do want to ask you, even though I know you do want to go that independent route, is is one of the reasons why you're going the independent route. Do you feel like you're being blackballed? Do you feel like the ears that are supposed to hear your music? And especially when it comes to the Bay Area, this is one of the biggest questions I want to ask. Do you feel like the Bay Area and the Bay Area sound is getting jacked and blackballed out of the industry? No. I feel like it's getting uh, mimicked a little bit, yeah. You know, yeah, but that's cool though. That's kind of I, I take it as a motherfucking compliment. Absolutely. I don't, I don't, I don't see nothing. I don't, I don't find no harm in shit like that, man. Like, cause I'm gonna do me anyway and stay in my line. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you know my reasons of being independent. And, it's, it's just strictly just to control my own my own fate, my own destiny, my own plan, my own blueprint, all that shit. I'm in control of everything. Independent so, realm. Independent realm. So if something fails, something rise, or something, you know, whatever, if it's at a standstill, anything, it's all on me. Absolutely. I'm not going to wait on no motherfucker to push my shit for me. It's going to get pushed accordingly how I want it to get pushed. And that's one of the biggest things when it comes to being an independent artist. You can do everything. You can pick your dates. You can choose what time you want to shoot your video. You don't got to worry about the next 
cameraman or setting up this or that. And one of the biggest things I do want to ask is how do you feel about, you know, some of these big artists is wearing nail polish? You know, especially being in the nail <laughs> section. We got to throw this one in there, man, because I ain't going to say the word because you know how YouTube be getting, but... <laughs> 